Today's picks and videos are brought thanks to Kadi KitKat. Like their close cousin, the ragdoll, ragamuffin cats have a fairly short, but positively fascinating history as a distinct breed. To learn the history of the ragamuffin, begin with the history of the ragdoll. The ragamuffin cat breed was originally part of the ragdoll breed, which was created in the 1960s by Ann Baker in Riverside, California. Baker established her own registry, the International Ragdoll Cat Association, in 1971. Cats registered to the IRCA are required to conform to a highly specific breed standard and are forbidden to be registered with any other breeding association. Eventually, ragdoll breeders disagreed on where they wanted the breed to go. One group wanted to continue to outcross ragdolls and wanted other colors and patterns to be accepted. And Baker strictly controlled the breeding of ragdolls and didn't want to add variation to her breed, so these breeders set out to create their own distinctive breed. They crossed ragdoll cats with Persians, Himalayans, and domestic long-haired cats to increase the size of their cats and to create physical attributes that would differentiate ragamuffins from ragdolls. The name ragamuffin was chosen in part as in homage to the founding breed, and although the name was initially a joke, made by one of the original breeders, it stuck when the official breed registry couldn't be changed. Today, ragamuffins are an official breed, recognized by the United Feline Association, the first to do so, the American Cat Fanciers Association, and the Cat Fanciers Federation. The ragamuffin most recently gained full recognition from the Cat Fanciers Association in 2011. Don't confuse the long-haired ragamuffin with his cousin, the ragdoll. The two are separate breeds, although they are similar in temperament and appearance. The ragamuffin is a heavily boned, big kitty with a long, fully furred tail and a plush coat that comes in more colors and patterns than the ragdoll. Some of the differences between the ragamuffin and the ragdoll are seen in the face. For instance, the ragamuffin has a broad, modified wedge-shaped head with a rounded appearance. The ragamuffin has full cheeks, and the eyes are walnut-shaped, versus the ragdoll's thinner, slightly angled almond-shaped eyes. Their eyes can be any solid color, with some exhibiting heterochromia. Adding to the sweet expression, ragamuffins have rounded contours between the ears and a nose scoop, versus the ragdoll which calls for flat planes. The body should appear rectangular with a broad chest and shoulders, and moderately heavy muscling in the hindquarters, with the latter being equally broad as the shoulders. A ragamuffin's fur is rabbit soft and very light, giving them a decadent, blown-out look and feel. Fur length is to be slightly longer around the neck and outer edges of the face, resulting in the appearance of a ruff. One of the interesting facts about the breed is that ragamuffin kittens are usually born white and develop a color pattern as they mature. Every color and pattern is allowable, with or without white. Their coats can be solid color, stripes, spots, or patches of white, black, blue, red, cream, chocolate, lilac, cinnamon, seal brown or mixed colors. Female ragamuffins weigh about 10 to 15 pounds, while male cats weigh up to 20 pounds. Since ragamuffins are one of the biggest cat breeds, behind the gentle giant Maine Coon, it can take up to four years for them to reach their full size and fully grow in their adult coat. The breed usually lives for 13 or more years. And the required level of physical activity is medium. Unlike many cats with long, silky coats, ragamuffins' coats are relatively low maintenance. Because they are tangle-resistant, ragamuffins are well-suited to any home with people who will love them and give their gorgeous coat weekly or twice-a-week combing to remove any minor tangles or mats and remove dead hair buildup. What's more, ragamuffins are not prone to excessive shedding. However, ragamuffins with Persians in their pedigree may mat more easily than others. Be gentle, and with their accepting personality, they will enjoy the special attention. The only other grooming they need is regular nail trimming and ear cleaning. If your ragamuffin's ears are excessively dirty, red, inflamed, or smell bad, make an appointment with your vet immediately. Avoid using cotton swabs, as they can damage their delicate inner ear structures. 
Because ragamuffins have such playful personalities, something as simple as a ball can keep them entertained for hours. However, they can become bored if not properly stimulated. So it's important to dedicate time each day to playing with your ragamuffin. If you're wondering, can ragamuffin cats go outside? The answer, according to the CFA, is no. Because of their easygoing, trusting natures, the ragamuffin should be an exclusively indoor cat. There's far too much happening outside for them to contend with and their affable, docile nature can make them susceptible to danger. If your ragamuffins are begging to go outside, train them to walk on a harness or build a catio for them to soak up some sun. While ragamuffins tend to have a fatty pad on the lower abdomen, it is not an excuse for permitting them to become overweight or out of condition. Your ragamuffin's dietary needs will depend on their age, sex, and activity levels, but generally, they should eat a serving of high-quality cat food. If you have questions about how much to feed them or feel that they are gaining too much weight, talk to your vet about the right diet for your beloved furry friend. Ragamuffin cats are true lap cats that love to be cuddled by their owners. Often referred to as puppy-like, ragamuffin cats are intelligent, friendly, and super personable. Plus, many ragamuffins learn to love new tricks and play games, like fetch. Ragamuffin cats are highly adaptable and with their outgoing nature, they make excellent companions for a family with younger kids or other pets. Ragamuffins and children go together like chocolate and peanut butter. They follow their people wherever they go and greet guests at the door with a happy meow. Although ragamuffins are generally healthy and genetic variation offers some protection against inherited health problems, they can be susceptible to certain conditions. Not every ragamuffin will develop these conditions, but some health issues that are common in ragamuffins include polycystic kidney disease. PKD is the development of multiple cysts in a cat's kidneys. Polycystic kidney disease, which causes renal failure, ended up in the ragamuffin via its Persian ancestry. It's not immediately life-threatening, but should be treated as early as possible in order to prevent the development of new cysts and to reduce the risk of dangerous bacterial infections. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This type of heart disease is extremely common in cats and is characterized by the thickening of the heart muscle. The first sign is typically a heart murmur, heard by a veterinarian, and an echocardiogram can confirm whether a cat has HCM or not. Cats identified with HCM should be removed from breeding programs. Avoid breeders who claim to have HCM-free lines, since no one can guarantee that their cats will never develop HCM. Last, but not least, it's a good idea to watch for arthritis and patellar luxation as they age, as ragamuffins are so big that their size can be rough on their joints. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that each new subscriber and positive comment motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.